Our next honoree, so absolutely thrilled to introduce and to invite up to the stage Thomas C. Hoffman II. Thomas? <laughs> Thomas C. Hoffman II is a graduate of the Smeal College of Business, my academic home. He was nominated for the Alumni Fellow Award by representatives from Penn State Erie, the Barron College, which he attended from 1984 to 1986. Currently, Thomas is an attorney with Knox, McLaughlin, Gornal, and Senate, PC. During his career as a lawyer and CPA, which he began with Ernst & Young, uh, Thomas has represented thousands of businesses and high net worth individuals, and he has helped plan hundreds of business successions in more than 15 states. And the list of clients, the roster of clients is truly impressive, from manufacturing, oil and gas, timber, publishing, and many, many more. He's also originated and serves as a major contributor to the Knox Law Institute for topics including business succession, uh, succession planning, estate planning, tax law, and so many more. Believe me, that succession is what keeps the economic engine of this country going. He's a founding board member of the Erie Center for Arts and Technology, which is an institution that offers middle and high school students art classes and mentorship at no cost, setting them up for success in school and beyond. The center also offers many other programs, including an, an adult training program for medical assistants. I think this is amazing. This offers free admission with support from regional employers. Thomas has been selfless with his philanthropic efforts for Penn State. He chaired the university's gift planning advisory council and served on Barron's Council of Fellows Board of Directors and Barron's Center for Family Business. It is truly such an honor for me to present you with this award, which I will bring back in a minute. But for now, Thomas, please, we would love to hear from you. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, as Neely said, it's pretty cool because you can't see anybody out there. <laughs> and I sort of wish I knew I was going to go after George uh, because that's a heck of a nice speech he had there. <laughs> One thing uh, that's really interesting as Penn State alumni is that George was instrumental in, in, the, in the opportunity to have the Erie Center for Arts and Technology succeed because his organization was our first and lead tenant in a 250,000 square foot school, uh, 80,000, 80,000 square foot school that we developed into a major um, organization in inner city Erie, helping those students uh, and adults change their life. And EPN has been huge with that. So um, it, it's just remarkable that, that we have that connection with Penn State, and I didn't know about it until a couple of days ago um, when my good friend Tom Roberts called and told me about it. So it's, it's really pretty cool. I would like to start by thanking um, my mother and father, though, uh, after that notion, uh, for the sacrifice they made to send me to Penn State. I had the opportunity while I was at Barron. Um, by the way, I made that choice because my bride was going to Penn State, and I got accepted to several schools, and I thought, well, um, she wasn't my bride, of course, at that time. But, you know, uh, she must be a good place to go. So I decided to go to Penn State. I have several options, and it's worked out extremely well. Uh, and so, but my parents made a sacrifice to send us, and I had the opportunity while I was at the Barron campus to meet with a gentleman named John Lilly. He was one of the successors before Ralph Ford, who's with us today and is doing a great job. And I met with John Lilly, and he told me many different things. But he was very inspirational about the growth of the Penn State Barron campus and what that means for the Erie community. And my father was involved with uh, economic development in Erie County, and I always wanted to be involved in that myself. And what we do in succession planning, what we've done with ECAT, and what, what we've been able to develop along with Ralph and his team at Penn State with the Erie Center for um, Family-Owned Businesses is about growing our community 
economic development and the crucial important part that Penn State plays in that. And it's just been enormously important for me to be involved in that process. And I'd like to thank Ralph. I'd like to thank my, my uh, children who are here with me tonight and my darling bride who couldn't be making it because she's uh, recovering from COVID but doing very well. And thank you all for the opportunity. Um, thank you, George, for being there for our group, even though uh, we didn't know at the time. The Penn State connection is really nice. And thank you for this wonderful opportunity.